okay, quite a challenging thing to do at this stage with Scratch, but um, certainly one that some of your more able pupils will cope with. We've got the, um, the, the repeat loop used for the fish um, heading towards the mouse pointer. But if they actually catch up with the mouse pointer, we see we get this quite irritating flicking. So what we have to do to actually get rid of that is we're going to use um, an if statement inside our forever loop. And in theory, what we're going to do here is actually say that if the mouse pointer is less than 10 away, sorry, more than 10 away, then we're going to move it towards um, the fish, towards the mouse pointer. Otherwise, it'll do nothing. So it's only just going to move forward if the distance is greater than, say, 10. So now what I need to do is use an operator here. And I'm going to use the greater than. And if on sensing, um, we've got distance to. Now, dragging in the blocks is a bit tricky on this one, but if you go for the left-hand hedge, so we need to say, if the distance to the mouse pointer is greater than 10, then we'll do the move. If not, we won't. And I'm going to drag that in to the option box there. And um, I'll just move that across so you can see all of the code. So we've updated that now to say, that forever loop, if the distance to the mouse point is greater than 10, then do the movement. Otherwise, nothing else happens. Now, this is only, this code's actually gone onto one of my fish, um, but you can see it's working nicely for the fish that have updated, and we've got the other two fish that are, are still flicking.